questions and concerns. Overbola Ahmed Tanubu's absence from the Nigerian public space, which has trended on Twitter for days on end, is not misplaced or ill-willed gotcha maneuvers by political detractors. They are legitimate expressions of anxieties over the fitness of a man who has the most probable chance to be Nigeria's president in 2023. Forget what flawed, poorly designed, and, in some cases, transparently partisan polls say about the 2023 presidential election. The auguries, for now, favor a Tanubu win next year. Atiku Abubakar and the PDP are mired in an irrecoverably debilitating internal turmoil, and Peter Obi's wild popularity in the southeast, the south-south, and some parts of the Christian north is not sufficient to win a presidential election unless it transcends these regions and leads to actual votes in his favor. So, heightened apprehensions over Tanubu's disappearance from public view and at events where his presence is required aren't the idle bilious indulgences of his haters that his defenders might say they are. They sprout from an acknowledgement that he could be a president who will decide the destinies of 200 million Nigerians. Tanubu was the only presidential candidate who failed to show up in person when presidential candidates of Nigeria's 18 registered political parties met on Thursday to sign an accord that commits them to a peaceful campaign in the 2023 presidential election. That event was too momentous to miss. Why did Tanubu miss it? What was more important than it, and where is he? A member of the APC Presidential Campaign Council by the name of Ao Oyewovu told Arise TV's Charles Aniagalu that Tanubu is resting in London. What's he doing in London? He can't rest in Lagos, Oyewovu said. They will not let him rest. So, he came to Abuja most of the time they will still not let him rest. This man has been working for an average of 20 hours 24 hours each day. So reasonable people thought, Oga, you need to leave this country because they will not let you rest. This is a curious defense of Tanubu's self-engineered blackout from public view. Even if it's true that he needed to take a break from the high-pressure exertions of political campaigns, why did he choose to leave the country on or shortly before an event as important as the signing of a peace accord among presidential candidates, a yearly ritual since 2015 that attracts international media attention? Isn't that self-own? Most importantly, though, if he becomes president, he would be under even more ponderous pressure than he is as a presidential candidate. Is Oyewovu suggesting that President Tanubu would relocate the Nigerian presidency to London to evade or minimize the perpetual pressures of the presidency, which self-respecting patriot wants to rule his country? Runs away from it to another country, and a former colonizer's country, to boot, in moments of pressure. Where else in the world does that happen outside of banana republics?